It seems to reason that if there are black holes, there must also be white holes, right? Because of the perplexing nature of white holes, it is not that straightforward. While the existence of black holes is widely accepted in the scientific community and beyond, white holes continue to spark debate since some scientists continue to deny their existence. However, the new James Webb Space Telescope has put an end to the debate by proving the existence of white holes. What are white holes and how is NASA's powerful space telescope confirming they exist? Stay tuned to see how the James Webb Space Telescope has finally proven the existence of white holes. You don't want to come across a black hole, since you can land yourself within its belly. With such a voracious hunger, black holes devour everything that comes too close, including stars with their massive mass. Are white holes as terrifying as black holes, if not worse? Although black holes and white holes share many similarities, they also have significant differences. With the launch of the new James Webb Satellite Telescope last year, we are expected to get a better understanding of both black and white holes. Of course, we've been sending telescopes into space for decades, but none have had the impact that the JWST will. Scientists are optimistic that the new space observatory will alter our perception of the cosmos and everything inside it, including white holes. For the first time, the true nature of white holes will be uncovered by a telescope as powerful as the JWST. However, as previously said, white holes and black holes have many similarities. The primary distinction between a black hole and a white hole is how they handle the material surrounding or within them. A black hole is a stretch of space-time with the maximum gravity from which no field or electromagnetic radiation like as light can escape whereas a white hole is a theorized space-time phenomena that allows light energy and matter to escape. Everything inside the white holes is pushed out. A black hole is a perfect black body since it does not reflect light. It has mass but no angular momentum or charge. White holes were proposed as a result of concepts developed by the late Stephen Hawking and other notable scientists. A black hole is an area in space where space matter has been compacted into a tiny object when a star collapses, creating enormous gravity and pull. Because no light flows through or out of a black hole, no one can see it. In reality, to observe or detect a black hole, a space telescope with unique and specialized equipment is required. Scientists find black holes by monitoring how the gas and stars around them act. A black hole emits high energy light which cannot be observed without specialized equipment. The concept of the white hole can be traced back to Einstein's theory of gravity and relativity. This idea is noteworthy in astronomy since it called into doubt the existence of wormholes. In the 1970s, Hawking observed that certain black holes do leak, giving rise to the notion of white holes. White holes are formed from black holes, which should explain where the stuff they spew come from. This occurs when quantum effects occur surrounding the black hole and continued collapse finally expels out the matter, resulting in the formation of a white hole. This is why a white hole is sometimes referred to as a black hole's temporal reversal. There is no way a spacecraft can actually reach to the edge of a white hole and investigate it because of the event horizon, which has a no entrance policy. However, a white hole can have an impact on the whole universe since it ejects everything in a one-way movement of materials. A white hole is distinguished by the fact that nothing outside it can influence anything inside it since it allows zero entry admission. The focus on white holes has increased in recent years, yet the origin of white holes remains a mystery. Even if white holes exist, they won't be stable for long and will ultimately collapse into black holes bringing us back to square one. What if a black hole and a white hole were to collide by chance? The former will swallow the latter because it is sucking in space-time while the white hole is pushing out space-time. It's like turning on a tap exactly above the sink. Water flows directly from the tap to the drain with no interruption or problems. However, what occurs after the collision? The problem emerges after the black hole has consumed the white hole which might result in one of two outcomes. The two celestial bodies combine to become a black hole or both combine to become a white hole. What determines the final product's appearance? That is determined by whether the black hole or white hole has a greater mass.
going back to the tap and drain example, if there is just a limited quantity of water flowing out of the tap, the drain can easily manage it. But if there is much more water than the drain can handle, the water will force its way out and reverse the water flow. The fact that the white hole has more mass does not imply that the black hole will become a white hole after colliding, merely that it is more likely. What if they have the same mass? All bets are off, and it's tough to predict how the collision will play out. Meanwhile, many scientists continue to deny the existence of white holes, claiming that they are entirely theoretical, in contrast to black holes, whose existence is supported by scientific evidence. They also mention that when a star collapses into a compact volume, it generates a black hole. However, watching this video backwards doesn't make sense from a physical point of view. In fact, an event horizon bursting into a blazing star would resemble an egg unscrambling itself, violating the mathematical law dictating that the universe grows messier with time. Critics of white holes argue that even if enormous white holes did emerge, they would most likely be short-lived since any incoming matter would clash with the matter in orbit resulting in the system. Consider what theoretical physicist Carlo Rovelli proposed. Once black holes could no longer evaporate and shrink owing to space-time limits, they would suffer a quantum bounce or outward pressure and convert into white holes. This means that black holes turn into white holes fairly immediately. Yet, as observers, we continue to witness a black hole for billions of years due to gravity's time dilation. If this explanation is correct, black holes that originated in the early years of the universe may be ready to die and burst into cosmic rays or another type of radiation at any time. In 2006, NASA's SWIFT satellite spotted an extremely intense gamma ray burst known as GRB 060614 in an unusual location of the sky. These bursts are frequently connected with a supernova and come into one of two categories, short bursts or long bursts. GRB 060614, on the other hand, lasted 102 seconds but was not related with any stellar explosion. For reference, most gamma ray bursts last between 2 and 30 seconds. GRB 060614 erupted in a galaxy with extremely few stars capable of erupting into explosions or prolonged bursts. According to astronomers and astrophysicists, this gamma ray burst appeared out of nowhere and collapsed in on itself after just a few short moments. However, scientists eventually proposed that GRB 060614 might have been a white hole. How did they arrive at this conclusion? It's because GRB 060614 precisely fits what one would expect to witness from a white hole, a massive, unstable fountain of matter and energy that vanishes quickly after formation generally from a spot too small to perceive. The fact that present scientific theories offer no alternative explanation for what happened strengthens this argument. However, the process of a black hole transforming into a white hole, as proposed by Ravelli and his colleagues, takes time. Ravelli calculated that a black hole with the mass of the Sun would take around a quadrillion time the present age of the universe to transform into a white hole. Aside from that, this theory implies that white holes, unlike black holes, cannot be generated directly. According to other theories, white holes formed within a second after the Big Bang as a result of random density fluctuations in the hot, fast-expanding newborn universe. According to this school of thought, locations where these fluctuations condensed matter together might have collapsed to generate black holes. These primordial black holes would have been far smaller than stellar mass black holes and might have perished to form white holes within the universe's existence. So what happens when a black hole potentially transforms into a white hole? It will expel all of the energy and matter it has devoured over the years back into space. And because objects inside a white hole may leave and interact with the outside world but nothing can get in, no external event can ever impact the inside. This is why scientists define a white hole as a time reversal of a black hole, or a video of a black hole played backward. It's analogous to a bouncing ball being the time reversal of a falling ball. But the event horizon of a black hole is a sphere of no return. The event horizon of a white hole is an obstacle to entry. 
similar to the most exclusive club in space-time. A white hole seems just like a black hole to a spacecraft crew observing from afar because it has a mass and may spin. A ring of dust and gas may collect around the event horizon, the bubble boundary separating the object from the rest of the universe. However, when the hole belches or spits forth stuff from deep inside its belly, they will know they are looking at a white hole rather than a black hole. What happens when a black hole collides with a white hole? Well, the meeting will have to happen soon since white holes don't survive long. Keep in mind that not lasting long is a subjective thing in space where events occur over billions of years, so don't presume we're talking about minutes or hours. As these two immense forces approach each other, the black hole will gain an instant edge, while the white hole has little alternative except to spit energy towards its opponent. The black hole is an insatiable receiver, while the white hole is an untamed supplier, a perfect fit. The mass ejected by the white hole is converted into energy for the black hole. This will not be an easy fight though, for the black hole may feed on the white hole for thousands of years. As it gobbles, the black hole grows larger and larger until it totally consumes the white hole. With so much energy consumed from the white hole, the black hole becomes even larger than before. It might be as enormous as Messier 87, which is 38 billion kilometers or 23.6 billion miles wide, or 3 million times the size of the Earth. So if a white hole and a black hole collide, the interaction will produce a huge black hole that will wander the universe killing everything in its path while also theoretically becoming a white hole. White holes are merely theoretical for the time being but that is no reason to dismiss the research that led to their discovery. In any case, black holes began as a notion as well, and they have now not only been shown to exist, but have been discovered to exist all around our observable universe. Let us know what you think of white holes in the comments section below.